Welcome back, guys. Richard H. French RC and more. And this is definitely a huge part of the and more. Gee, what's it really stand for? Does anybody know? Well, before we get this video started, I'm going to tell you what Jeep stands for. It stands for Just Empty Every Pocket. Just Enjoy Every Problem. Especially when we get to 300 and almost 10,000 miles. Anyway, the biggest leak on Jeeps is their freaking distributor. The gasket at the bottom, like, wastes away and then doesn't seal. You're looking at a brand new one. That's right. Because that oil-filled fucking distributor wore out the bronze bushing inside. Anyway, another oil leak they're common for is between the head and the block there in the lifter valley, just below the spark plugs, is the oil side of the head gasket. Yeah, a lot of them leak. I can't tell if this one is or not because the distributor is blowing oil everywhere. <laughs> uh, crush proof valve cover? Yeah, right. Work valve cover is what I heard. So the crush proof gasket had no effect. So we sealed it with silicone. Because I'm done with that shit. And why did they put the fucking crank position sensor way the fuck down there where you gotta drop the front drive line to get it out? And it's like. They leave you like this much frickin' room to pull the damn thing out of there. I expect you to get the dust cover back in. You must have the transmission out when you do this shit, huh? God, you guys. Gee, why? And then you get shit like this. Oil inside your distributor. It's fucking gross, man. I don't know why this thing is fucking upset. Look at the cap, dude. It's all burnt inside there. I didn't know what to do. It's a real bummer too. Dude, we just gave this thing a tune-up not that long ago. But what can you do? It's a Jeep. Anyway. So yeah, literally drop front drive line and access from underneath. It's like here. Let me take you for a spin here. Real quick. And don't mind those, those are other spin parts motor. But yeah, way up here, above the transmission cable, on top of the transmission up there, here's where it is. So yeah, drop front drive line, access. Bitch made. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, we're about to start this thing up once the computer resets. Well, after all my hard work, guys, new distributor, replaced the ICM with the original one because for some reason it wasn't starting. Make sure you shove the distributor in the fan. It's always good to keep your old parts for the simple reason. I plug this computer, brand new computer in car will not start brand new will not start plug in an old junkyard computer it runs like shit but it runs so fucking thing